here's a little, uh, a couple of, of licks that I'd like to show you that I've used in my playing quite a bit. The, the major one took me a really long time to learn, but I finally got it down. And then when I got the major one down, the minor one kind of came uh, pretty easy. And it's a uh, it, it's a pretty common like you'll hear it um, quite often in in playing. But I've never really seen anybody sh uh, uh, show you how to do it before, so I just thought I'd throw it out there. Here's a, it's like a major seven. Is that a tune? I don't care. Um, the lick is this. Sixth. Well, the nice thing about this lick is you can play it anywhere and in any part anywhere in the in the chord that's being played at the time. Uh, so it's and it, it works um, really really well melodically. I've also just discovered that uh, when I was playing blue boss on the C minor chord, you can do the same type of lick but in a minor uh, fashion. And although it's a little bit more dissonant than the major one. Uh, for the scale, it still really works well, and it is this one, though. Now it also works in, in the in the on the F minor seven when you go to hit that chord too. You can play it over those two chords. But in any case, this is the sound again. thing about this little lick is that you can you know obviously transpose it to any chord that you you want to uh, want to play but it um, uh, it's not something that you really have to memorize right from start to finish you can use any part of it anywhere invert it too if you want um, but it's a it's kind of a nice way to get around the guitar and and give your mind a little bit of a break to prep for the next thing that you're trying to uh, play in your solo anyway work on that stuff good luck have some fun.